continues in Pensacola tonight with Pensacon just getting underway. The fan convention has wrapped up for today, but as Andrew Perez is about to show you, the party really is just getting started. Andrew? Well, Bob, I heard they were having a Star Trek party here at the Elbow Room in Pensacola. A lot of people showing up in the middle of Pensacon. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, gross. I didn't know we were at the table with him. <laughs> the Elbow Room has been transformed into the USS Enterprise. Trekkies from across the galaxy and the area are hitting up this Pensacola pub for a party of a different kind. This is the first time it's ever been done that I've heard, and it sounded like a fun event where everyone dresses up almost like Halloween and early. <laughs> Everyone's in a friendly mood. Everyone gets into the spirit, you know. The Star Trek party follows a pretty active day at the Pensacola Bay Center where day one of Pensacon wrapped up. The sci-fi convention drawing people from far and wide, some choosing to mash up their favorite shows and movies into one outfit. We have a, uh, a radio, looks like the uh, Gaelic Island radio from the USS Minnow uh, with the Starfleet emblem on it. We have a bamboo phaser. Uh, made, out, made out of bamboo, and we got the uh, the communicator. I just love both shows, Gilligan's Island and Star Trek. Pensacon runs through Sunday, but after the actual convention, the streets of downtown Pensacola come alive with sci-fi fans. Many say the event has been a success so far and doing big things for the local economy. So don't be surprised if you see any aliens or characters walking down the streets of Pensacola. They're going to be here all weekend long. We've got more details about the event on our website, fox10tv.com. For now, though, as my Trekkie friends say, live long and prosper. Reporting in Pensacola, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. Who knew? I didn't know you were a Trekkie, Andrew. Mention for the fan community. Now we're talking sci-fi, fantasy, oh, yeah. horror, comics, and more. It's a lot of fun. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is checking it out. Andrew. Yeah, that's right, Bob Lanese. Call it a childhood dream, call it a geek's wonderland, whatever you want to call it. Pensacola is a whole different city this weekend. You've got sci-fi fans from across the region that are looking to show off their design skills, meet some of their favorite actors from TV shows and movies. I've never personally been to a sci-fi convention before, so I decided to check it out. The good, the bad, and the ugly have taken over Pensacola Bay Center. To be honest, the sci-fi scene is a little new to me, but from comic collecting to zombie walking, I found some pretty good teachers along the way. Uh, so what is it? It's half, uh, it's half drunk, half uh, Keith Richards. I can do that. I can so figure that out. Or, so that guy <laughs> has the brains that you want to eat. Coming for you. <laughs> Now, running like the undead isn't my strong suit, but they've got something for everyone here. Sci-fi fans got the chance to meet their favorite celebs from hit shows like The Walking Dead or even The Hunger Games. This is Pensacola's first annual Pensacon, a sci-fi convention that draws people from across the region. They come out here and everybody has the same interest as them, and normally there aren't a lot of places where a bunch of people can go to and like be like, hey, you like that? I like that. Great. If you like Star Trek or... Harry Potter, you meet a lot of other people who like the same likes, you know? No, I am your father. He's the real guy. This is a real guy right there. <laughs> now, Pensacon is going to be going on all weekend long, but the party continues tonight in downtown Pensacola! <laughs> Several venues and streets in downtown Pensacola will cater to convention crowds. How you dress is up to you, costumes and all. I spent a lot of my early teenage years thinking that I was the only person that liked anime or comics, movies, whatever. But when you come to an event like this, you get to see that there's so many other people out there just like you. Now, the convention continues tomorrow from 10 to 6, Sunday 10 to 5. You can still buy your tickets online or in person. For now, reporting in Pensacola, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. I still have my collection of comic books. Well, Superman, uh, Batman, Yes, Batman Flash. was my favorite. And I've been to one of those sci-fi conventions before mm -hmm. in Charlotte, and they're always so intense. Right, it's like... Do they think they're real? Well, you, well, 